Okay, so 36 times 48. I think I'll do the array. So I'm going to separate this into four pieces. And I'll break it apart. 30 and 6 and 40 and 8. 4 times 3 is 12. Add two zeros. Four times six is twenty-four. Add one zero. Eight times three is twenty-four. Add one zero. Six times eight is forty-eight. Now I'll take what I the answers I got from the array and add them together. is the breaking apart method and it is where you break numbers apart and make them a little bit simpler at a time and then add the, up all the answers to get the full final answer and here's how you do it well um, what you think about it is like in this case it would be 30 times 8 and 30 times 8 oops I meant 40 earlier so I'm going to this up and um it would be, and then you go to your 6, and then you go 6 times 40, and 6 times 8. And here's how to do it. 30 times 40, which equals. One of the ways to think about it is, is that if you're having troubles with big numbers, you can hide the zeros, and then 3 times 4 equals 12, and then you add the two zeros, and that's what I'll be using for the other ones as well.
and you can line them up all together. You can, um, like here, they go over here. Eight. This four times one of the ways to think about this is four times three, which equals twelve. Put the two and two times three equals six plus one, which equals seven. And then you get your one. And this is the reason I multiply is that I think the multiplying your numbers when you have numbers like this, like I have a 444 four, four, and a 222, two, two, you can multiply it to have a little bit of um, strength and multiplication there when you're doing addition as well. Now I'm going to show you the breaking apart strategy for 50 times 32. Now you might be wondering why we're doing two different ones, but as you can see that this one is a zero and not a digit like 3, 2, and 5. One of the things that you need to remember is that you only do this as it, almost as if that wasn't there. Because, because, you see, if you did multiply 0 times 30 and 0 times 2, it would always be 0. So that, that's why you don't multiply, because even if you did do it, it wouldn't add up to anything anyways. So what you do is that you do 50 times 30 which equals, I showed you, I showed you um, earlier that you take away the zero, and I think that's very helpful because I use that all the time. Oh, when I had troubles with multiplication, I use this all the time when I had troubles, so remember is you can do 15, that's what three is equal, and then add the two zeros. Equals Then you can add these together. That's how that's how you do it without when there's a zero in there. I'm going to show you the traditional strategy for solving multiplication problems. Here on 36 times 48, I'm going to put my 36 on top times 48 on the bottom equals 8 times 6 is 48. I'm going to put my 8 here, put my 4 right here. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 is 28. 4 times 6 is 24. I'm going to put my 2 up here. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. If you add these up, you get 8, 12, and your 1. 2 plus 6, and 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and this will be 1. Now I'm going to show you the traditional strategy for 50 times 32. I'll put my 50 up here times 32. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5 is 15. When you add these up, 0, 0, 6, 1.